Hello ladies and gentlemen, hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I put up a new video and or a live stream. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this video is starting in the office and then we're heading out to the truck. We're doing a very simple install on the 2022 TRD Pro Tundra today. Now the good news is this part or parts is for all Tundras. Doesn't matter if you're iForce, iForce Max 2022 or 2023, regardless of trim, this could go into your engine bay. Now I am talking about the TRD air filters that they offer uh, through Toyota. You could find them at Sparks Parts. Use promo code TUNDRADUDE34 to save 5%. Now, expectations with air filters should be very low. As we always said, they increase the noise of the engine bay a little bit. They'll probably give you a few extra horsepower here and there. They increase airflow. Uh, but they're not like a major system that you could buy for, you know, a truck or a car. If you go get yourself a cool air or cold air intake, um, along with some other parts like exhaust and a good tune, you could really bump up the horsepower really good there. This is just a nice, cheaper way to get a little more air to that engine and maybe increase that noise a little bit. And something that's very special with the 2022 slash 2023 Tundra, it is now twin turbo V6. So we will see if these filters help with getting a little more of that turbo noise that we have in there now. So I look forward to seeing this, see if there's any difference whatsoever. Seat of the pants feeling hopefully is amazing. Mentally, that's all that matters uh, because these trucks are expensive and we want them to go fast and smooth down the road. Now, as far as pricing goes and all the information, I will put the link in the description below for Sparks Parts, but let's just go over a few things about these filters before we go and install them. Okay, TRD Performance Air Filter, part number PTR 03-34220. The price of the filter is $42. Please don't forget, you have to get two of them. You have two air boxes, twin turbo setup. So you have to get two. It'll run you 84 bucks before the Tundra Dude 34 discount. And here's what they have to say about them in the description. Requires two per Tundra. For optimal engine protection and performance, the TRD air filter offers superb filtration and enhanced airflow. Four ply filter element features durable, epoxy coated mesh enclosure, an elastomeric seal to help optimize a precise leak-free fit. Washable and reusable regular cleaning and recoiling ensures free airflow and top performance. And there's also a TRD air filter cleaning kit available. Fitment 2022 and 2023 Tundras, all trims all the way through regardless of hybrid or not. Okay, so we got two air boxes, two clips in front, nice and simple, quick install. Let's see if the 30 seconds each box makes a difference in horsepower there's my taped up mic over there now one thing about this twin turbo setup and the hybrid attached to it it's a very responsive engine whether it's iforce or iforce max so i really do look forward to seeing the little things that uh, air filters and stuff like that can do but please enjoy this is some noise i have a mic taped up under the hood so you could kind of hear some engine noise uh, you know, like the startup, acceleration, stuff like that. So I couldn't mount the camera up like I have you mounted right now and do the microphone. So enjoy some pictures of the Tundra while you listen to each different stage of how the truck sounds under the hood.
here's what they look like. Very similar to the old TRD air filter. A little bit smaller, but same idea. And that sticker to put on top of the box so nobody changes back to a throwout air filter for you. And this one you can re-oil, reuse, or just in a few years replace. And here's a shot of the old filter and the new filter. As you can see, slightly different looks a lot more less restrictive so let's see what it really does holding it up in the light and this one held up in the light you can see through this one a lot better so uh, hopefully that means big things under the hood So in normal mode at regular speeds, it sounds pretty much the same thing. Uh, we're gonna get out here on the main road and see if it sounds good when picking up some speed. So let's check that out. There's definitely a little bit more turbo noise um, and that's getting up to speed. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I gotta drive it a lot more than just our first drive like we're doing right now. Um, but just at normal speeds, maybe a little bit more engine noise. I think sport mode is gonna be really where we see the difference, but we'll continue driving down the road and see how she feels in normal and then switch over to sport and see if it's worth the $84. Just threw her into sport mode here. Let's see if it makes any difference. Sport mode is already insane, so this should be neat. Let's see. Yes. Yes, definitely more sound from the turbo. It's hard to tell if it's doing anything horsepower-wise just because of the fact that it's already slam you back in the seat fast holds those gears a little bit longer just like a lot of other uh, sport modes on other vehicles but you could definitely hear a lot more uh, turbo noise Ladies and gentlemen, a quick little install and a nice short ride to kind of see what these TRD air filters are all about. We will be doing a little more time with it, but I can tell you right now that the sport mode and the new air filters work together pretty nicely. You could really hear uh, the turbo noise, the turbo spooling. Um, I hope. I haven't listened to any of the footage yet because we're still uh, filming right now, obviously, but the mic that I have underneath the uh, hood, hopefully it gives you a little sense of difference in noise. Normal, still kind of the same thing. Sport is the way to go. 
Uh, but you know, this is good for right now. What did we say? $84 for both of them. Uh, there is no TRD intake available yet. I'm sure there will be down the road. And a lot of people right now want to stay away from aftermarket when it comes to, uh, you know, engine related stuff because of warranty issues you may have. Uh, early in the Tundra, there was a few issues, wastegate issues, stuff like that. So a lot of people are kind of holding off of aftermarket until all the bugs get worked out. So TRD may be the way to go. And one thing I've always said about TRD parts since the beginning of this channel, they are engineered for the Toyota Tundra. A lot of aftermarket parts out there are meant for uh, many different applications with small little changes here and there to fix your vehicle. But these TRD parts are designed and engineered for your Toyota Tundra. So down in the description will be the link to these air filters. Let me know in the comments below if you plan on getting these or waiting for something better. I mean, you spent this much money on a Toyota Tundra, whether it be iForce or iForce Max, what's another $84 uh, for a little bit more sound out of that engine bay? And hopefully maybe we get some MPG savings and all the other stuff they say about air filters, uh, but I'm not holding my breath. But don't forget sparksparts.com, promo code TundraDude34 will save you 5% on these parts and everything else on the website. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Till next time, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe and be well.